The differential pressure flow meter analysis will allow us to calculate the pressure drop associated with a flow meter that we have in our line. So to create this analysis, I can open any stream, come to the Analysis tab, choose Add Analysis, and I want this differential pressure flow meter analysis. With that opened up, let's look at the different parameters we have here. The fifth property down here says our meter type. And there's three main meter types that we can choose from. We have an orifice meter, a nozzle meter, and a venturi meter. And for each of these types, if we've chosen that type, Promax will calculate the discharge coefficient and things associated with that meter. If we have a meter that doesn't fall in any three of those categories, but we do know the discharge coefficient, we can use this discharge coefficient option and just manually put in our discharge coefficient. For this example, I'll choose an orifice meter, and right below that I can choose the orifice tap type. And so you see the three options available there. Right below that you can see that right now it's grayed out, but we can have nozzle types available and venturi types available if that's the meter type that we have selected. And then we can input our pipe diameter and our throat diameter there. From that, if I click Solve, as mentioned, Promax will populate our discharge coefficient, our permanent pressure loss ratio, and then here below we have our differential pressure drop, so that's the pressure drop we see across the meter, with the overall pressure drop being the pressure drop that is a permanent pressure loss for us. We have the Reynolds number and our mass flow presented here, our diameter ratio, flow resistance, flow coefficient, and expansion factor are also listed. Now this was for an existing meter size. If we wanted to, instead of giving it a meter size, find out what meter size would give us a particular pressure drop, that's one thing we could do. And so in that case, I would get rid of my throat diameter. And instead, I could type in the overall pressure drop that's acceptable. I'm just going to say half a pound here. Once I have a pressure drop specified, I can again solve and it will calculate what throat diameter would be required. And again gives me my other bits of information. So when I have my flow meter that I've calculated, I might want to actually use my flow meter in the simulation, meaning I want to actually account for its pressure drop. So what, the way we would go about doing that is doing that same analysis, essentially, but inside of a valve. So here I have a different process fluid drawn going through this valve to represent a venturi meter. So what I would do in this case, if I open up the valve, I'm here on the process data tab, and you'll see for my pressure drop method, I've chosen the type of meter that I have. From the drop down menu, you can again see that we have those other options as, as possibilities for our pressure drop here. So with that type selected, I can choose again my pipe diameter and throat diameter with my permanent pressure loss specified as well. And up here, Promax is calculating the actual pressure drop that we'll see in our system due to this meter. And so that way we have the meter actually built into our system. And so that's how we handle flow meters within Promax.